I'm having I'm having waffles um, with syrup for lunch. Um, I'm I'm sorry you surprised me there. I wasn't expecting to start my video quite so soon, but um, I actually think that today's story might um, might have something to do with my pancake waffle lunch. Today's story is about ancient syrup, dinosaur syrup. Believe it or not, there was real dinosaur syrup. Now, maybe it's not true that the dinosaurs made syrup like we do. Do you know how do you make syrup? This stuff? This says 100% pure maple syrup. Maple syrup comes from trees, maple trees. And if you've ever seen pictures of this, it's really cool. In a certain time of year, you can stick a little tap into the maple tree and all the sap that sticky sap drains out of the maple tree and gets collected in buckets, and then they process it and mix it up and make it taste really good, but that sweet mapley flavor comes from the sap from trees. Well, if you go back 100 million years ago to the time of the dinosaurs, the time of T-Rex and the great dinosaurs, there were different trees, not quite like the ones today, but there were trees then too, and those trees also made sap. And what if I told you that sometimes that sap would accumulate into like a little pool and it would pond and it would harden and be preserved into a rock like this. This rock is called amber. And I want to write that down for us right here. This rock is Amber, A M B E R. Amber. And I'm going to tell you that amber is dinosaur syrup. Let's take a look at this amber. It's beautiful, bright orange color. It's extremely light, very, very light. And there's even some little black bits. You might see some black bits in the middle. Those black bits are, well, any little things that the, the sap sort of dripped over or ran over a hundred million years ago. Sometimes, and this is true, sometimes if there's a little bug or an insect or a mosquito or something like that, and the sap drip, drips and grabbles up, gobbles up that mosquito or that insect, you can actually find preserved bugs and insects from the time of the dinosaurs inside these little bits of amber. Now, not all, not all amber is 100 million years old. Some is younger than that. But I wonder if the dinosaurs maybe every now and again would find some of that tree sap and lick it. Maybe some of the plant-eating dinosaurs. And I kind of like to think that that was like dinosaur syrup. And so, actually, I guess my syrup today, this is real syrup. That's sap from a maple tree that got made into this fancy, yummy, sweet syrup. But this is real amber. Now, there's a movie you might have heard of called Jurassic Park. Not really a movie for kids, but you might see it someday when your parents say it's okay. Jurassic Park is actually about collecting amber which you can do, and collecting bugs inside of amber, which you can do, bugs from the time of the dinosaurs. And then the science fiction part of that movie is that they took blood from the mosquitoes in the amber and they thought that that was dinosaur blood and they used that to recreate the dinosaurs. That part maybe hasn't worked out so much, but it's true. This is real sap, dinosaur syrup from 100 million years ago that records and tells that story of the life and the bugs and maybe the sticky sappy treat that the dinosaurs ate 100 million years ago. 
So I hope you like this Every Rock Has a Story story. And if you don't mind, I'm going to go back and eat my lunch with my syrup. Um, and I'll put my dinosaur syrup right in front of me. Take care.